Box plots do not appear on the SAT very often, but knowing just a few things about them can cover you for pretty much any question where they show up. Overall, a box plot is a way to represent a set of data values. The number line beneath the box plot will help us understand some of the data points in the data set. A box plot tells us five things about the data set. The minimum, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the maximum. The minimum and maximum values are easy to spot. They are shown by the ends of the lines coming off the box, which are sometimes called the whiskers. In fact, box plots are often called box and whisker plots, but not really on the SAT. In this case, the minimum value is 45 and the maximum value is 85. Since we know the maximum and minimum, we can easily calculate the range for this data set. 85 minus 45 is 40. Moving on, the median is also very easy to spot. Remember that the median is the middle number when a data set is arranged in numerical order. Appropriately, the median is shown by the line somewhere in the middle of the box. In this case, the median of the data set is 60. The box plot shows a rough distribution of the data points around the median. We know that half of the values are to the left of the median and half are to the right of the median. The two quartiles give us a bit more information about the distribution of this data set, but it's a little confusing. Imagine that the median has split our data set into two new data sets, the left side and the right side. The lower quartile is the median of the left side, and the upper quartile is the median of the right side. The two quartiles are the medians of the median. The median divides the set in half, and the quartiles divide each half into half again. That's why they're called quartiles. They divide the set into four quarters. Sometimes the lower quartile is called the first quartile and the upper quartile is called the third quartile because that's where the respective quarters of the set end. In this case, the lower quartile is around 53 and the upper quartile is 80. I've never seen this on an SAT before, but it might be worth knowing that the box itself shows the interquartile range for the data set. This is the middle 50% of values. 80 minus 53 is an interquartile range of 27. Whenever you look up a college's SAT scores, they show you the interquartile range, the lower quartile, which is the 25th percentile, and the upper quartile, which is the 75th percentile. To be clear though, the SAT is almost always going to ask about the full range of the data set, which we saw earlier is 40. You should also know the limits of a box plot because the SAT sometimes asks for things that a box plot does not show. First, a box plot is a summary of the data but it does not show us the individual data points. We know some of the data points, like the minimum and maximum, but we don't know the frequency of those data points. For example, we don't know if this data set contains a single 45 or multiple 45s. For that reason, we don't know the mode or most common number. We also can't calculate the mean or average, since that formula requires knowledge of all the data points. And since we don't know the mean, we can't really grasp the standard deviation. Though, there might be ways to make conclusions about the spread of the data set if we compared two very different looking box plots. I doubt the SAT would ask about standard deviations with box plots, but they have definitely tried to trick people into thinking that box plots show the mean or average. Just remember that box plots are all about medians, and you should be fine. Thanks for watching.